Yeah. Where is my bottle opener? Alright, so the first round of matches is Tiger versus Salty, Infiltrator yeah. versus Squirtoria. That'll be an interesting match. Yeah. Squirtoria is, I think, Hi. much better than I am. So. Probably at yeah. like the 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 second intermediate plateau above where Salty and I stand. <laughs> um, maybe not even on a plateau. Maybe he's on the rise. Oh, it's gonna be you and Tyga first, Salty. Yep. And then we have Tyga. Uh, Tyga might be using main salt to plot. No, nah, I would just go with the chaos. At least for the first match. All right. Looking sharp there, Empiris. See you on stream. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I realized that Logan they could still hear your up, voices. Dude. Hmm? Logan what? Logan's hyping up. He's, he's, he's like, oh my god, Zakatsuki's terrifying. He's terrifying. Petrifying. Petrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here, I'm like, I'm not that good. <laughs> Salty's a cut. Salty's a scrub. <laughs> Big fat scrub. He's a big fat scrub. Oh man. The scrub whom I lose to. <laughs> it's gonna be like getting here salty and then I realize you're already in the room. Yep. Actually, you should take skip off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I should do. I found Shinobis Catholic. Where's Tyga? Shinobu, who's Shinobu? Oh, he plays on PS4 and he plays a lot of Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, Shinobu with two U's. Yeah, yeah. All of us got those like, like clicky mechanical keyboards. Yeah. yeah whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least your hitbox is like silent compared to mine. It's still pretty loud. I just angle my mic in a very specific way. All right. Well, there's Tyga. There we go. Um, hold on. I'm helping these two troubleshoot though. Who does Tiger play normally? Oh, uh, Wald. He was the guy who was super hyped for Infiltration's Wald. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yeah. How's the sound, by the way, for everybody that's watching? Can you hear us and can you hear the game? Cool. Right, apparently, it's good. Um, let's see. Uh, where is there it is? The real question is, does anyone play Mika? We had a Mika. Victoria Chase plays Mika, doesn't she? I remember overhearing that at some. But she's point. still in. If she wins the, the next match, she'll be on stream. Loser of ten. Well, the next match is Infiltrator or Squirtoria oh, right. for her. So. Uh, oh yeah. Apparently, Cosmic and Rizzy already did their matches. Oh. Yes, the, he Cosmic's on to round three with a 2 0. I mean, it happens. <laughs> There's not much we can really do about it now. I 
I'm hoping someone has a Mika. Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Victoria Chase does play Mika, or at least they did, um, earlier in the week, so hopefully she gets on stream. Be a pretty, uh, sad channel if you have a Mika time, uh, emote and no and one no plays Mika. And no Mika, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out. I mean, Taiga, we could always DC, like, you know, where would go with that, dude? Like, you know, I'm fine with that. <laughs> If I get on this stream, I will cry. Well, what's wrong, Logan? <laughs> Should we start with uh, Tygon Salty? Oh, yeah, I can. I can start whenever. Are you good? Yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, I will uh, be right back. Then I will see y'all in a bit. Yeah, I should be. Uh, actually, Taiga, do you want um Aka or Chaos? Aka is my main, and I'm like a day two Chaos, technically. You're like a week two chaos, aren't you? Not really. <laughs> I only I don't even have the B and B down. Like today oh, was the first time I really practiced the B and B. All right. Says you pick whichever. Yeah, I see that. Be honorable. Oh. Be honorable, salty. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh huh. Okay, as he deafened. Looks like it. Okay. So we will see if Salty picks his main. Oh, looks like he's hovering over Chaos and Taigo is playing Wald. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, right. I do remember Taigo telling me that he was labbing out of hide for a bit. Having some issues with the very Ooh. difficult corner combos. That's okay, a good looks color. Looks like Taigo has locked into Goldstein, the classic. And Chaos. Okay, this is a pretty tough matchup for Wald, if I recall. And this might... Uh, Salty might have made this inadvertently just as difficult for Taiga. <laughs> oh yeah, because he doesn't really have to get in. He can just send a little wizard. Yeah, I actually don't quite know how this matchup works, but Wald traditionally does bad against characters with good zoning. Oh, a weird standstill at the beginning there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Salty is definitely a slightly more aggressive Chaos player than... Uh, my extremely boring zoning way of playing him. Oh, that was a nice little somersault to him. Gets hit with the assault, drops the combo, 1A, picks up, nice. That's a link. Dash forward 4B into real combo, nice, very good. Ooh, crit broken because Salty's a stand techer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Actually, no, that couldn't have been a stand tech. He just got uh, a stand field. Yes, where Salty got red off of uh, winning against me in a random mirror. Ooh, that adds so much oh, minimum damage. Damn. Nope, that's all ground bounces. Unfortunately, too slow to capitalize on the VO. Minus 14 on block, but it's tough to try to get the not airborne hit sometimes. Okay, Salty's kind of whittling him down with, uh, ooh, very nice. Those arms. Yeah, gigantic arms. No hurt box. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have hurt boxes during the moves. Oop. Yeah, falls for the trap of mashing during 2-2-A. But Taiga mashes out and gets the advantage there. <laughs> Damn, Salty just throwing out 2-3-6-A. Yeah. He's just going for it. It can be tough to figure out when um, you're safe to do things against Chaos for sure. Yep, Taika's got to hold that. Oh yeah, because you can leave his uh, pet standing now, can't you? Yep, um, although I doubt Salty knows any of the stance stuff. <laughs> it's an unusually difficult input, uh, or unintuitive at least. Oh, okay. Salty managing grid fairly well for someone who likes to use a uh, force function during pressure strings. Oh, he drops the crazy train ender. Damn. Salty fails to take the P360B. This is like a constant sticking point for him in this matchup. He is really suffering from the fact that <laughs> He's the 360's characters. got a seven frame, uh, what is it? Seven frame shorter tech window now as of clear. 
Oh yeah, right. that's right. Looks like uh, Salty has had enough and is switching to his main that he has 600 hours on. I guess this is the issue with only playing one character for a very long time. Not that this is actually an issue. Squirt says gold throw equals one push up. It should definitely be much more than just one push up for punishment. <laughs> All right, let's see how well Tiger does against Salty's main. That fails to block the overhead, unfortunate. Will Salty get this combo? No, what? fails to get like the nice knockdown. Got throw loops. Assault hits him, but Salty fails to confirm. But the 6B hits. Oh my God. Run up throw, pretty good. Oh my kind of hard to Who's the grappler in this situation? Oh, how about 15 then? That 15 sounds pretty good. I like what Taiga's doing, trying to use his claw moves to cancel out the fireballs, but unfortunately he lets uh, Salty advance on him. So I'm not quite sure about um, how this matchup goes for Wald, but my intuition is that for the Wald player, this is the kind of matchup that Wald wants to play that kind of more zoner style against. Use your plus mm -hmm. frames and superior range normals to really... Ooh, nice tech. Oh, damn. Ooh, okay, yeah, Salty takes the second game with two perfects in a row. That's rough. It can definitely be really there, rough to try to mash out of uh, Akatsuki pressure, especially when you're playing a character like Wald, whose fastest normal is 8 frames. Well, Although he's playing super aggressive, I feel like, instead of trying to keep him out. We'll see what he does in this situation. I'd like to see um, Taiga shielding those long-range fireballs. Wald definitely needs grid, no matter what the matchup is. Oh, yeah. A block One team is up. plus two on block, I believe. Salty fails to uh, tech another 360B. That's 30 push-ups total now, according to the uh, squirt workout. Squirt workout oh, plan. another one. Nice. We got a empty assault 360A. The classic. Hey, what's up? I'm already out of the tournament. Oh, that's a shame, Blob and King. Better luck next time. We can run a set maybe later if you want. We can do some beginner lobby kind of didactics. Ooh! Thanks for the follow, Vento. Man, ooh! Ooh, Tiger does a hasty 360C after this uh, CS, which doesn't work out because Akatsuki was already in the air. Oh, wait, were we supposed to wait for our winner's round two match to be streamed? Yeah, Cosmic, we told you so many times. <laughs> Oh. You're getting lots of follows. Yeah, I think it's all the people in the tournament. Uh, Infiltrator says, uh, you got it, Taiga, I believe. You got a fan, let's go. You gotta fight for your friends and those who believe in you. Oh, the top- Oh, Ooh. fuck this. Boo! Boo. The classic. I've already seen that like 50 times and I've been playing for like a uh, month. <laughs> six off an oop. What? No, I think the round ended and Squirt quit out right away. It's not that Squirt Rage quit, it's just that we're behind on a delay, so... Oh, okay, okay. Boo, says Taiga. Sorry, not Squirt, I'm, I'm missing that. <laughs> Sorry, Taiga. Taiga, <laughs> Sorry. okay. I thought, like, my Chaos got really beat and I was like, oh, damn, he... <laughs> Uh, yeah, to be fair, he wrecked your chaos. No, yeah, like, I, 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 was, I, was, like, I was like, god damn, like, I, I wasn't ready for this. I was, I was like, okay, okay. Like, he's called Walt Cena, like, okay, I can go with Kotsky. And you I get don't her tournament BT dubs, says Taiga. Oh, salty. Salty, you shit lord. <laughs> I'm have? sorry. You're the worst. Well, I'm sorry. now we have Squirt and Infiltrator. I was. I, was... <laughs> I DQ. <laughs> no, don't DQ, Tiger. Come on, it's all right. You're up uh... there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess so right. I'm, I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, round three is. I think uh, you're, round two isn't. You're a good solid player in general, Tiger, sport. and I think you do well in this tournament. I think you just got uh, matched up against the most dishonorable possible opponent. <laughs> what? I played a chaos for sure. I get absolutely right. I'm like, okay, cool. So I think you jump down. You just kept going with it <laughs> and then rise up the losers with a Kotsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on I my mean... phone, so delay. All right, Scratoria is playing Uni from his phone. Oh, lovely. Okay. Skip um... salty. Oh yeah, my bad. My bad. 
So Losers Round 2 isn't on stream, right, says Logan? Um, I believe not. It's Losers Round no. 3 onwards. Yeah, Losers Round 3. I mean, if I end up in Losers Round 2, I'll have to stream my Losers Round 2 match. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, but... Sounds like favoritism to me. I don't really know if yeah, that's uh, really you fair. Know, I don't, listen, don't listen, we we're missing a stream. Winner's Round 2. All right, so we're going to have um, actually a pretty high-level match here. Squirtoria and Infiltrator yeah. are both pretty good players. Um, my money's main, too. Yeah, my money's on Squirt. Um, yeah, honestly. This matchup is pretty weird for Wall. Yeah, that's what you can do. Run up 3C. Dump that boy into the All pavement. Right, so let's see that hide corner pressure. It's real tough for Wall to get out of this. Oh, no, but... Infiltrator has been in the lab or some shit. Alright, we right back into these insanely high damage hide confirms. Yeah. 3.7k meters in the corner. 3.8. Every time hide oh, touches see you. another perfect first round. It's the walls. Nice. Ah! <laughs> oh, you just Who cares about the perfect? Up. You take that trade. Yeah. yeah. Watch the overhead, plus 5 on block. That was a good jump. Alright, uh, yes. Hyde owns this just past mid range in this matchup. Oh, fails to convert off the Rekka. I've been a miss input. Uh, yeah, I believe it's one of those things where he missed the cancel window for the third Rekka hit. Oh. Oh, I'm amazed uh, Infiltrator didn't just 360C there. Maybe he's a little off his game. Uh, unlike a certain someone, uh, Squirt knows how to attack 360Bs. Oh, nice. I wasn't ready for it, right? <laughs> I hit VO in all honesty. Infiltrator's got that ST, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, 360A. I, maybe uh, Squirt thought that was 360B. Another one! Uh, fails to check that 360B. We got 15 push-ups on the line for Squirt. Alright, text that one. Should probably see a CS, yeah. Alright, oh. very good end here. This should kill. Yeah. Nice! Oh, there we go. All right, Infiltrator took a round off the high. Pretty hard thing to do, especially since right. corner for so long. Oh, 30 push-ups oh, total for Squirt now. All right, all right. Wait, is it 15 push-ups per miss? Oh my god, I can't believe that laser was blocked. I just thought for sure it would catch the recovery of J6C. Infiltrator's defense right, has been pretty good. Stagger two A's. Yeah, good old hide classic. All right, looks like this entire set's gonna be played in the right-hand corner. Yes. <laughs> I haven't got seen some at all, really. From, uh, from Infiltrator. Back dashes out of the plus Missed two frames from 4B. Does that mean it's meter, really? Oh, that's... Yeah, this is... Uh, Infiltrator's in a good position oh, this here. Should... As long as he's in capital. Oh, but starter, he drops the combo. It? No! Oh, uh, so, and Bailoff has run out. Oh, yeah, he's the 2 6 b Infiltrator really wanted to combo off of that with CS because that probably would have won him the game. Uh, Blobantine asks, is the EX Fireball follow-up new to clear? Yes, it is. The big laser is new to clear. Um, jury's out on as, uh, as to whether it is a good option or not. I mean, I've this seen um, I've seen Garm use it a bit on a... I'm um, just like just to catch uh, people throwing out random shit against the fireball. It's very fast, but it has a strange range where it essentially emanates from the fireball itself and doesn't hit behind. Thanks, Jastard. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Jastard. This match, good, uh, in my opinion, says DD. Yeah, that's true. This is a great match. It's a little higher level than uh, what this beginner friendly tournament would necessarily imply, but that's not too bad. Okay, we got the. Oh. Chooses to wait, despite separate. the fact, yeah, despite the fact that Squirt has not advertised any kind of DP wake up uh, on his wake up. Yeah, we haven't really seen a DP from Squirt at all yet. Right, Maybe I'm sure I was expecting that to be the first one. All right. Ooh, my God, CS into nothing. That was scary as hell. I was oh. expecting at least one of them to grab. Okay, that's the yeah. Thing. I was expecting maybe like a three six three and a half trader. Mm. I don't really know. Oh shit! Raw Squirt going for the Rago BDP round to start. That must like have been. Soul? No, I guess it was a walk forward B fireball miss input, but yeah, hard to tell. To All right, we got the mix up. Oh, 360 B. Barely tech. He just gotta hit him. Tries mashing out. Saw by two two A. Okay, J A mix ups into Lotus. Oh, oh whips. DP. Uh, Could this kill? Oh, no, 2B started. It's not going to kill unless he... Can, can he do IW? 
That's what I'm thinking. Oh, he's not gonna do it. He was gonna he go for the corner, corner instead. This is a great position. Ooh, Infiltrator just doesn't capitalize. Shield doesn't just punish. Yes. Oh Ooh. no! Was that a throw attack? Drop? Maybe. Good defense from Infiltrator. And rise, I say it. Like, oh, no, oh it. so close. Yeah. Dang. That was tough. Yeah, and I understand that the panic of getting that. Uh, Again, of him so getting that spare corner. hit in. That was close. That was sick. I tried to 360C. Yeah, no, that's the uh, walled player's uh, anthem, man. I tried to get 360C and 214C came out. It's all that kind of stuff. It's the worst. Oh, it's me and Turtle. Don't all know right. the matchups at all anymore. Those Let two players telling each Turtle. other good games in the chat. That was a great game. Yes. I definitely need to work on the hide matchup more myself. I have like no idea where I should be trying to take my turn back in that matchup other than to like shield 2-2-B. Two, two, but it's weird shielding 2-2-B two, two, because it can be two or three hits based on how close he is to you. Just veil off. Just deep deep. No. Oh, you're watching it? Okay. Well, you're up. <laughs> so we have... Turtle versus Impurist? Yeah. You know, it'd be really mean if you just use my points around, just say played walled. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Good. what? He has a new point system where you get to choose his character. Oh, on, you mean Squirt? Uh, no, for Impurist. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's say that probably doesn't apply. Not, yeah, not during a tournament. It doesn't apply during tournaments. doesn't apply during tournaments. All right. right. I'm gonna mute myself. We've got uh, tournament host Empirist, who I believe plays Wagner. Just shield the shield won't help. Right. Yeah, it's the la the second hit of the flames of two two B is what you're supposed to shield. Right, Turtle plays Ankyu. This is the guy who knocked me out of the tournament last time. Yep. All right, let's see so... if uh, Empirist can use whatever matchup knowledge he's gleaned from my his sets with me to. Did he get to play against Turtle last tournament? I don't remember. Um, I don't think so. But... I think Turtle mostly played against you. Last tournament. Yeah, he played against me twice. Yeah, I... it was like me and you, and then he played against Didi a few times. Magic is the charge two B. Guess the yeah, uh, dash Turtle, Turtle loves his Enkidu overhead. Yeah, complete opposite of you. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's another one. Yeah. So Impurist is doing a good job of mashing out during those overhead charge times. Uh, Enkidu overhead is one of the slower ones. 5C is, I charge 5C is, I believe, 29 frames in an extremely obvious animation. Still gets caught by it. Fish right now, jumping. Oof, Turtle. By the to be. Turtle loves those uh, charge 2Cs. Yeah. He, he's so just he's, hitting. Oh, deep. Oh, doesn't punish the DP. Doesn't punish the DP. Nice smash. Mash but, out. And Pitcher yeah. is just dropping a lot of these confirms. Yeah, unfortunately, he's getting a lot of stray hits, but not good confirms. But that's good. It's a good yeah. start getting sword buff. Ooh, but he gets hit and loses sword buff. He still does have CS. Tries jumping mm -hmm. him. God damn that hitbox. Unfortunately, that is not a command grab, so it hits in the air, too. Wagner Edelgard. Wow. Oh, yes. Imperius does have a custom color for Wagner that turns this horrific color that Salty and I are seeing into Edelgard. Yep. Oh, uh, I guess the hit. Oh, this should Ooh, kill. This should Confirms. kill. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Drops the 2 AD. Oh, no. This is horrible. Oh, this is dead. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, no. He drops. Ah. Uh... I don't wow. think Imperius is ready for the, the drop combo. Yeah, that was rough. You know what's a real shame is that we have no one repping Mute BGM in this uh, tournament. I mean, I can rev a free next time. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Please. Wow. I've, I've always got music playing in the background during tournaments. Yeah. Alright, Turtle pulling in with the JCJA. Alright, 2.3 combo. respectable, I guess. Nice. Yes, always Very mash good out of those overheads. 2C. Just walking forward into the buttons. Neither of them are really confirming that well right now. Ooh. Imperius uh, has this issue where he loves to 6-6-C without uh, converting into a special to make it safe. Overhead. It's overhead. It's not a lot Good of damage, combo. but he gets both buffs from this. One frame parry. There we go, Turtles. Uh, I don't know if he picked that up recently or if he's new, new before, but he definitely wasn't using that option in the last tournament. 
It is Impure's in the classic uh, up back drill. Yep. Impure's loves that round start. No idea how good it is, honestly, as a walking player, but. I'll have to ask some people about how good that is an option. Uh, it's a low. Charge. Oh, he's, he hasn't muted himself. You can hear him. <laughs> 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 No, we fucked him. We fucked him. We fucked him. Up. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, just play, Impierce. Just play. <laughs> just play. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Oh, that's actually super funny. <laughs> <laughs> we're just over here talking at and you just fucking oh, go, oh. and we're like, oh, fuck. Just mute the <laughs> mic, man. Like, yeah. Well, that's what I thought I did, but I hadn't. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty funny. The spirit right, of geese right. is within him, says Blobmantin. Yeah, I actually have to ask her to whether or not he thinks that palette is a Goku palette or a geese palette. Mm -hmm. Let me update the bracket. Gaps and hides block shrimp to convince. Infiltrator asking for some anti hide matchup tech. So, um, next up, uh, since Cosmic and Rizzy won, uh, we have me versus Squirt. Oh, great. Okay. Are you guys gonna play subs or? I I don't know. Yeah. Squirt Squirt said he was pulling on his main earlier. If I recall, I Squirt subs are quite good too. So... Yeah, I might, <laughs> I might just pull out the Aka, just out, out from the gate. That'd be a fun matchup. It would be. Is he in? No. Oh, he's no. Squirt, make sure you're like aware that. It's a walled player saying that. So 2A, 2C, I doubt there's an eight frame gap in between those. Yeah, Squirt just right, says, nope, yeah. my main. All right, All right. we're gonna have ourselves a, a good old fashioned beatdown matchup. Yep, good old Akatsuki versus Hyde. One, personally, one of my favorite matchups, but it's, it's very, I, I feel like this is more in Hyde's favor in, in the whole thing. Yeah, I would probably also stilt it towards Hyde. Um, Maybe like 6-4. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. Alright. Alright, Squirt. It's been about a solid week. Maybe even less. Uh, good luck, have fun. Right, and Salty deafens himself. Ryu versus Ryu with a sword. <laughs> that is pretty much how it goes. Turns out Ryu with a sword is a little stronger in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Ryu with the sword has like slightly better fireballs, so it's kind of weird. Huh. So this entire matchup is essentially going to probably be played in the corner. We're probably going to get a few moments of neutral. Yeah, like this. And then, yep. <laughs> oh, man. Might has so much carry and does so much damage. Yeah, those records carry really well. Oh, man. Lots of throws. Ooh, my god. The back and back. Nice. And air throw. Yep, that gives such good Oki. Ooh, Squirt taking the heavily respectful option of backing away almost two full character lengths when Hyde is in the corner. Ooh, that's Salty funny. takes the. I'm sorry, I keep mixing up the names, but Salty takes the Rago DP option and pays heavily for it. That air throw combo always looks so strange. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Akatsuki's combos look super thrown together. Squirt goes for the ADP into 2 2 C wake up option. This might kill. No, but Salty drops it. Nice! Catches the backdash with 2B. That button is so active. Six frames. Six wow. active frames. That's insane. Why is there no music? He did it! Salty oh, did Salty it. turned the music <laughs> off. Salty did it! I love that guy. You know what? Never mind. Not all Akatsuki mains are that bad. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Salty getting his Akatsuki groove on. Uh, as he faded in chat there. Meanwhile, I've got fucking uh, Gymnopedis by Eric Satie playing on my Spotify right now, so this sounds very strange. Ooh, Salty misses the CBO It did combo. happen last time, Blobstein. Wait, did this happen last time with the music? Oh yeah, I did it last time, but I'm not in this tournament, so Salty's got a rep for me. I might need to turn it off, actually, because I feel like I can kind of hear it in the background. Maybe oh, it's just, like, happening? not loud enough. <laughs> I might change it after this. 
Trip only says he loves Salty for when he turned off the music. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, gets hit by the assault. I'm trying to figure out what Salty's trying to trying to do there. He's just blocking late. Wonder what the delay is between these two. Can't be that bad. I don't know. It was five frames for my match. You played against uh, Turtle, I guess. Turtle. I don't know where Turtle is. I think Turtle might, on ironically, be West Coast. I don't remember. Oh, all right. He's going for the meme two one four tech. <laughs> I don't know how much damage this does. Yeah, not that much. That is going to do a grip of damage if Salty completes. No. He fucking. Oh, oh the parry. Why? Why did you do that combo? Oh my god, that was such a risk. Salty is, I think, kind of on the edge. He's like. <laughs> He won that round, but that was, uh, kind of telling. Dash up is pretty good. I wonder if that was dash up ADOS. Ooh, gets hit by the overhead. Jesus Christ. Oh no, Salty! Salty does have this issue where he, once you put him under enough pressure, he kind of predictably caves and he likes to DP. He DPs a lot, I've noticed yeah, that. He does. He's, uh, unfortunately a little predictable about it too. Even Defy says more or less the same thing. Okay. Is he gonna spend IW? He didn't. 2 3 6 C for pressure, he has, uses up the VO. Okay. Good throw tech. I won my losers game. I'm gonna be on stream. I'm so excited. Hey, congrats. Logan. Nice. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. Squirt uh, evens up the score on round count for this game. Ooh, interrupts the Kaski Fireball startup with uh, V Orbiter. Damn, no cancel charge 5C. He's got Salty scared. Good tech though. That's a good oh, block. Nice grid break throw. Very good. Squirt should have just uh, grid thrusted there. That's 2 and 4D? Yeah. Generally, even if you don't have Vorpal, grid thrust is preferable to take that grid break throw, especially against a character like Akatsuki. So once he puts you in the corner, it's just horrific. Yeah. Oh, Those that was a good parry. doing okay so far right now. Good blocks. Oh, he should have punished that with oh, sorry. Okay, he's still doing pretty good though. Grid Break Assault uh, doesn't suffer from the same proration that uh, Assault does. Oh, that makes sense. Damn, Squirt took it. Very nice. Very good clutch play in that last round. Alright, they're 1-1 one, one right now. Very mm -hmm. nice. Hyde has the better Hyde, projectile, right? Um, I think it depends on the situation. I think at like um, slightly closer ranges, the Katsuki projectile is slightly better. But in general, in terms of like you know utility and holding down neutral, I think Hyde Orbiter far outweighs the Katsuki's uh, projectile. The impact on Hyde FF is so nice. Yeah, the nice. This game has a lot of really good um, special effects design, I'd say. All right, Salty Block uh, whiffs the BDP. So for those of you who try to punish things like uh, Akatsuki uh, 2-2-B, if you, you can block the first hit crouching, and if you block the second hit standing, he won't cross you up after you block it. So you don't have to worry about losing corner that way. Dang, Squirt Adapted says Infiltrator. It seems so, but Salty's still got a chance parry. here. And that's gonna go a long way. Salty's got the pressure. Counter hit 5B. Do counter Ooh, hits draw rate it. differently? Yes, counter hits uh, increase the untech time of your combo, allowing for longer combos. Oh, that's nice. And in addition, ca counter hits universally increase the hit stun of the move itself that counter hit by three frames. Oh, okay. Squirt's got the pressure going. Let's see if Salty can hold it. chip Ooh, is back. OD. Ooh, nice air throw. He understood that the 2-2-B would have whiffed there because Squirt was directly above him. Okay, they both backdash. They both heavily respect each other's uh, run-up uh, options in neutral. 
Okay, Salty whips a green shield there, but they're both still pretty even on grid. Okay, Squirt puts himself in the corner and then gets himself out with 616 a block. Oh, okay. Very powerful option. Salty with the stand tech, disgusting. <laughs> Squirty, squirt uh, running on a perfect here, but Salty's got the pressure. CS is to continue his pressure, and this should be an yeah. okay amount of damage, but more importantly, continuing pressure. Squirt waking up with EX Fireball there because he understands that Akatsuki's good tech. pressure is crap mid-screen. Very good 2-2-B. I'm amazed that it uh, crossed up along with uh, high 6 c at that timing. Okay, Squirt's got the advantage, but no, Salty gets the hit. Not. This is close. The draw. No. Oh! Squirt messes up the BDP. And put those oh, the laser! Oh, oh the my laser. god! I forgot about laser. So that's a use of C laser. It's very, yeah. very close. That was a sick game. That was uh, really good. Uh, my GGs. DP says Squirt. Yeah, that BDP not coming out after the CS was rough. Yeah. Or CDP, whichever you did. I feel like I did a lot better though than last time I played Squirt though. Let me Squirt's try and really change cool. the. Uh... Can I change the sound volume here, or do I have to go to the main menu? I would just do it in like. You have to go to the main menu, I think. Uh... Wait, Salty, did you actually put it on mute? Oh no, I didn't. I forgot. You did it back. Okay, so it is just that the music is really quiet. I'll right, you guys so... for one second. Yeah. I think it's just too low. That was a very good set. I, I've actually never run a set with uh, Squirt before, so I didn't know he was such like a fundies kind of high. That was cool. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, he did I charge FF that exactly that. once that entire set. Thank you, Squirt. I, uh, I, I, I didn't really do that much training. I just sort of uh, was like, huh, wonder what I can do. So are you doing 780 air throw tech OS now, or...? No, I, uh, I'm not doing that until I'm more comfortable with it. So just okay. do one, 180 I remade now. the room. Yeah. Volume should be louder on the... Well, uh, I wasn't even doing 180. I was just sand tech. Disgusting. Horrific. We've got... Yeah. Well, no, all those techs, I just raw text. Error can... Oh, I just got an error. Hold on, I need to re-net... Log into the network, I think, to reload the... Room listings. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, cool. Uh, Square, I have a question though. Oh no, I, I know it's better. Thank you though. Uh, I have a question. Why do you like not do anything on um, like whenever you even you use CS, you just don't do anything for it? Are you expecting like um, other people to throw or what? Maybe he saw you uh, BDP that earlier game against infiltration uh, against. Uh... Or who was it that you did that against? I did it against him. First was round. It him? I was, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting him to throw. So or like do trip. any button. Can you, oh, actually, where's Cosmic? Um, let me add him. He's so hard to add because he uses that weird, um. Oh, yeah, he, oh. he uses the, the fucking empty <laughs> set. Just go with Smick and find him that way. Yeah. Mention. I just right clicked his name and clicked Mention. Oh, was it on my CS? Oh, I thought you used CS there. I'm oh, the keyword's now. WASD. I get DP on CS by Isaac a lot, so I watch and wait now. Oh, damn it. Okay. Isaac putting the fear in you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the monkeyest I, player uh, in the FG in the entire uni community. Why? Of all the fear people, in you. <laughs> I had to play against you. That was such, I, was, I, was, I was like, oh, I've got him here. Everyone throw, everyone does something on CS. I got this. I actually haven't seen Cosmic play. Do we know who he plays? Oh, um, no. no. He well, no, backed he out on a... me last tournament. Yeah, so. he, uh, I think he's a Mika player, actually. Yo, we got oh, a Mika player on stream. we have a Mika player. Alright, so we got uh, Enkidu versus... Or is it gonna play Gord? Looks like Enkidu versus Mika. This match hey. is super fucked up, fucked up and weird, if that's the, actually what they're gonna go with. Nope, Cosmic is playing Merkava. Merkava? Oh, come on. Okay, right. this is kind of a weird, tough matchup for Enkidu, but he has the tools to win this matchup for sure. Yeah. Mercado's got a lot of range though, but yeah, but his aerial mobility is hampered significantly by the fact that Enkidu has like Four some C. of the best anti airs in the game. Is the game music better now, by the way? I have no idea because I'm just listening to Chopin. 
Alright, cautious neutral start. Nice. 3C anti-air. That's exactly what that button is for. Yes, Biakia oh, yeah, is good. Gets hit with the force function. That first hits a low, despite what it may look like. Dropped combo. Markova already in the corner. Yep, and yep. You he, God, he loves just charge 5C FF. Turtle loves that fucked up mix up where it's charge 5C immediate cancel into FF. All right, high and low. Gets thing. hit by the overhead, doesn't confirm though. It's a nice counter hit. And wow, CS and around. then 5C. That's wild. He could have done anything there and it would have beat that. Okamic round start 214A. Okay, he's fine. Right. He's fine. Make some space. Okay, he's hit by the get up. Nope, Missed unfortunately. The overhead. Yeah. It's gonna go over them. You gotta space it correctly. Oh. Nope, you gotta block low immediately afterwards. Or you just gotta punish them, just the charge. It's fucked up, but you just have to remember that you can do force function the first hit the low. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I that. That had to have been like a DP input first round. God, no supers. Just raw. F oh, he's, he's changing already. Cosmic, are we getting Mika? Uh, yeah, yeah, we oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know about this change. I think Merc's yeah, I, the better I don't know matchup. And honestly, the problems that I saw in this match just now was that Cosmic just didn't know how to block the the mix-ups. Yeah. So Maybe unless he's... Cosmic can uh, figure that out and adapt over the course of this game, this might be he might drop down to losers here. <laughs> It's like they're trying to switch each other out. Yeah. Uh, Imagine thinking characters, these two characters can play neutral. So. Alright. <laughs> haven't really seen Cosmic no, use a DP that. at all. Mash on Wake Up. Turtle uh, has yeah. a bad problem of like never really blocking on Wake Up. Cosmic, Wake Up 5B, not a great option there. Yeah. Just going for the charge. Rise a little, relies a little too heavily on 5 oh. BB. Was expecting that to be a high. He might not know the Mika matchup. Okay, very strange uh, combo there. Ooh, catches right. a counter hit 2 on 4. Yeah, these are odd combos. Cosmic is choosing to do combos that do not end in knockdown, which unfortunately severely stilt the matchup in Turtle's favor. Red, most of us are uh, East Coast. Yep. Okay. Now they've Mika gone back with to the... Dragon Ball Z neutral. Yeah, we got Mika with the slightest of light leads there. Oh, oh there's the 5C. Doesn't I saw block high block. It says guard late high one frame. That's tragic. Oh, oh no. wake up 3C to catch the assault. Really good. Ooh. Oh, oh. up with a 2B. Should be able to get him. This could kill. No, oh, no, no. Drop. Drop. FF? Ooh. Ooh. That's a high Ooh. charge. I don't think he was expecting the charge part. I didn't even is, think that could be charge or thing. This is insane. This is just like literally just net play mix ups uh, <laughs> of the matchup. This is a fucking monkey. God damn. Uh, 4C grabs. Turtle Kiki pressing Andrew? buttons on buttons and it's working. That's the Enkidu, man. You win every trade with Enkidu. Thanks to Havoc. Cosmic loves uh, creating a wall with that JAA there. This is all this could kill here. If he gets CS in time. Ah, oh, just too late. Uh, he tries block. mashing on wake up, oh. drops the combo. One chance for Cosmic. Oh, Cosmic oh, should have mashed a. there. I guess the Cosmic. only thing that Tur Turtle would have done there is grab, but he hasn't grabbed at all after CS. So I think Turtle would have yeah. been, or Cosmic would have been safe mashing there. Yeah. Nika has five frame A buttons, and Kidu only has six frame. Or just mashing, uh, just back there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Would attack. Throw would have also worked. Have to stream mine. It's me and D. <laughs> oh. One of the round twos. I guess it'll make up for one of the winners round twos not being there. Yeah, sure. For so, I was game. so confused for a second, seeing myself and losers. I was like, wait, how am I losing? I'm like, oh yeah, I played against Square. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, Imperius versus Didi. This will be fun. Wagner versus yes. Yuzu. Um, and then the winner goes to lose round three. Oh, Logan, congrats, you made it to round three. So if DD beats you, Imperius, I'm sorry because he leveled up significantly during that. Well, I know because you guys have just played 50 games. Yeah, I played a first of 50 with DD this morning, so... I mean, I didn't play any Wagners. He didn't get any matchup experience, but he's definitely, like, super warmed up right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, they did no, a first it to 50. It was just 50 games Infiltrator, but it, it still would have been a first to 50 either way. Infiltrator, it was 50 games, but I won 50 times, so... <laughs> Alright, DD, get in here. I guess Mika time was approximately two minutes. Not yet, no, no, because uh, we've got Cosmic is now in Losers, so he'll be back. Because we'll yeah. be doing uh, round three of Losers, so... Uh, round three losers looks like it's going to be Logan versus whoever wins this between Empiris and Didi. We have Infiltrator versus Taiga. I tripped in nine. First to 100 when I get home. Faded, please. I'll do it. Why not? There we go. Waldmir. And there's a. Uh... Is Didi here? Taiga was like your biggest fan last tournament, Infiltrator. I'm sure he's starstruck. Oh. Is that Didi? Yep, that's him. All right. So. Logan says, I really want to fight Empirist. All right, you got yourself a rival, Empirist. I'll take it after this. <laughs> All right. I can't live so... up to the hypes as Infiltrator. <laughs> okay, Wagner versus Yuzu. This is a classic Yuzu get the Yuzu dies kind of matchup. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking drill full screen, guard okay, well, points like, everywhere. If Yuzu plays well, then she... But it's one of those matchups where it's like very slow paced dash block, but then the moment Wagner gets in, Yuzu just explodes. Yeah, it's so just we'll like see. the fucking tempo goes from extremely slow to fucking fly the... Fly the Valkyries, whatever the fuck it is, fly bumpers, I don't remember. See, this is something new that um, Didi started doing in his set against me actually just uh, today. He actually just stops zoning sometimes. He'll run up and do like actual pressure on you with 5A. He uses those insanely good buttons that Yuzu has. Doesn't uh, punish the whiff. Tries backdashing out, but Wagner buttons are just too good. Will he get the confirm? This good, 2.5, yeah, gets shield and combo. Or B, I'm nice. Ooh, very good. Drops this, the combo though. Yeah, unfortunately, DD doesn't Up have a combo drill, that would have killed parry, off that one. Drops it again. Uh, when you play Yuzu, if you hit 4B, you should always buffer a 236BA um, into that input, just in case the parry doesn't trigger, but it's you hit with the actual hit. Ah, uh, traded. Oof. <laughs> Here's with a lot of damage. They got a high counter in the corner with a shield bash, but it didn't confirm. Gets the drill. Oof. Okay, we, we had a back teleport there, but that was the wrong option because we started with 226A. Blocks the overhead. Blocks the overhead, very good. Doesn't block it again, though. Unfortunately, Pierce I'm really loving this, it. like, just overhead option. Yeah, well, it's a bad muscle memory thing that Imperius is currently trying to drop, but it's working in his favor for the moment. Yeah. Did you know, uh, you know, little trivia fact, in, uh, Wagner's 5A is actually her turning a full 360 pirouette, but you can't tell because it's a five-frame startup animation. It, are you joking? Yeah, no, no, if you go into the sprite files and look at her sprites, she turns a full 360 in but those five so frames. it's just so fast. It's insanely fast because it's five frames. God, that you can't even working tell. on that for Very like good. months. Look at that. Imperius uh, is getting a little too predictable with his overhead timing and uh, DD really just lets him have it. Unfortunately, DD doesn't have a combo yet that ends in knockdown, so he can't do user shenanigans. Tries to get the confirm off of uh, Beep Looks Buffalo. Like DD's got CS now, full meter. Very good. Frame drive off of 6 6 c What uh, Imperius should be doing there is probably 3C or B, uh, BDP on reaction. Another 2 2 c under. Next combo could kill. Oh, oh man, I saw 4B. <laughs> That's punishable. Oh. oh, but it's only minus six. You have to punish it with an A button. Oh, is this dead? Should be. Ends with the 4B. Yeah, very good. Very close first game. Yeah, jump forward C starter, very powerful. It's essentially the same as a B starter or above for in terms of scaling. I don't know what happens, but I don't have the gold one anymore. How do you not have gold steam, Infiltrator? Maybe the safe file corrupted? Mm. How do you lose that an entire color? That's weird. I mean, that happened to me one time. I lost all my, uh, all my stuff because that's my network points. Yeah. Okay, does DD have this? Yeah, that was actually the 6 6 ender. Wait, hold on. Is he actually laving this combo? No, actually, that was 5B. Those buttons just have oh. the same. Yep. Another 4B. Predictable uh, 6Cs, Imperist. You're getting hit by uh, him. He's, 
<laughs> you can hear us, yeah. Oh, backdash Ooh. into the user. Gets hit by the net play unblockable side switch. Logan says, oh my god, please win, Imperius. Don't worry, he's, this is, uh... Oh, actually, no, this is losers, isn't it? Alright, we'll see. Yeah. Imperius, uh, shielding these slashes as he should at that range. Very good. Ooh, interesting, confirm. Oh, but he doesn't do the 4C. Now they're up back. Uh, D is able to confirm. Ooh, this could be a lot of damage. He's got CVO ready. Oh, this should kill here. Drops it. Ooh, oh, no, that BDP. is a misinput for sure. I don't know what it was supposed to be. It was probably something into 6C, but oh man, that was just, a rough That might have just input. been DP, but then uh, he was mashing it out, so we got 2B first. Oh, I see. I've done that with Lin before. 2B into BDP. Always fun. Yeah. All right. Well, DD takes that set, sending uh, Imperius out of the tournament. I'm sorry, Imperius. Yeah. You're going to have to leave the room now that you're out of the tournament. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it was. It was uh, supposed to be a what you call it? CDP. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I was just matching it. Very right. good, DD. A lot of improvements immediately. Um, if I play you, um, oh, who am I saying? You're in, you're in losers. You're, you're not gonna be able to. <laughs> Wait, wow. I'm in losers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I keep forgetting I'm in losers. Salty. Yeah. So it's like he's like about to unleash the fucking biggest BM of all time and realizes that he's also on the receiving end of that one. Didi, actually hop back in the room. We'll do you and Logan. Yeah. No, I would definitely say Shacho is the better wall of the two infiltrator. Argan Ross has a bit of a choke factor in tournaments. If you beat Logan though, you um you do have to go against me and I Yes, Logan, you are a... Alright, we have Logan, walled main versus Yuzu. Okay, well, this is going to be... Well, both of the characters that Logan... Actually, no, Logan plays Merc, too, doesn't he? Yeah, he does secondary Merc. We'll see how this goes. Oh, shit, we have another walled. Yeah, Logan, um... Logan's a, a new walled player, yeah. Yep, new wall player, but also subs oh. Merc, and he looks like he has correctly decided that the wall matchup is kind of rough here. Yeah. Merc, shake my head, says Infiltrator. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, Mictamino in chat says, Logan, stay winning king. Someone's got a fan. You're only a real wall player if you play him into the worst matchups. That's absolutely true, Infiltrator. If you don't play walled against Hilda, then you're not a walled player. <laughs> Those thin arms have nothing on Wald's toned biceps. This is objective truth, yes. Merc and his noodly arms. All right. Tries going for the arm. Yuzi teleports behind. Good counter hit. Drops the confirm. Gets yeah, hit by the overhead. Doesn't confirm off of it. I'm not sure how much Logan knows about Merkava, really. You don't need to know matchups as Yuzi. <laughs> yeah. It's just sort of the same thing, but different hitboxes. Yeah. All right. Get him, Logan. Been armed. Let's unblock the mix up. All right. Didi's got to. I mean, for the for the good of his future development, I think he's got to stop doing full screen B teleports. It's very predictable. Oh, oh is this gonna do yeah, it? That's gonna kill. Nice. Yeah, gonna kill. Logan just trying to confirm off of anything he can right now. Was that 200 meters before C? Just at 100. I think Those it was at 200. It was IW, man. Uh, well, no, he uh, CPO. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Doesn't really matter. It's zero nonetheless. Yeah. Ooh, oh, grab on yeah, wake up, but I he remember... catches the seven frame throw in the window on wake up. Yeah. I remember Logan uh, when I was playing, he doesn't know the uh, the throw window or like the uh, hitbox check for throws. Yeah. Yeah, so he's a little probably gonna whip sometimes. a few for right now. Yeah, the problem with Merc is that his throw does the most base damage in the entire game if you oh. mash enough. Yeah. Um, but Merc's run speed is shit, so he can't really make good use of that throw unless he's got the opponent real afraid of his normals. This could no. This can't kill even with CPR. A one hit from Logan, or either from either or. It's blocking high. Ooh, get overhead. Oh, overhead. Oh, nice. Logan Very takes good. the first round. Five BB into five C. Good confirm. Damn. 
but Messi, I just I don't think Didi knows this matchup well enough, all, especially yeah. with like all the all the random stuff that uh Markov is able to do. It's rough, yeah. Markov is a very chaotic matchup. Yeah. If you don't know how to create like dash block his stuff or just anything like that, it can be just really tough. I think Didi's yeah. contemplating Didi yeah. what he wants to do. Taking his time with this uh retry <laughs> accepting here. As far as I know, DD doesn't have any other characters. Yo, Logan is fucking popping off in chat, though. Ooh, oh, he'll go return to No, he did like... say he had a uh, pocket Nanase. Oh, oh well, is he going to be going Nanase? I would say that is arguably a worse Color matchup. change. <laughs> Yo, Logan, or er, DD gets it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. He's pulling all the, uh, the real color. Now, now he's going all out, obviously. You know, you lost the first rounds because I didn't have the right color on. Exactly, yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, backdash gets hit Going by the forward. arms. That is a hit grab. Take All you gotta do is block it. Yeah. You know, you can't do see that, to be honest. It's kind of a rough confirm. Uh, Logan keeps blocking higher randomly. Good J2C. Very good. Ooh. 2.8. Logan just refusing to forward tech after that 236A and or, um, he would just be able to tech out of the corner if he did it. Ooh. Good ender, good ender. Tries to wake up at the arm. Oh that shit, you see that? Hit? You see that fucking, uh, that B teleport was from so far away, he was in front of Merkava instead of behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm surprised the, uh, the Merkava's elbow wasn't, uh, wasn't able to hit Yuzu. Oh yeah, no, the hurt box on that move is wonky. Safe block stream into something resembling pressure. Good cross up. Oh, you can uh, do two on four B there actually and follow up. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did it earlier. I think he just dropped the info. Yeah. Oh, raw hit him. That is uh, classic. Extremely safe reversal. Um, oh, what's the number again? Minus three on block as a player. It used to be minus two. Most characters have to shield Big the last overhead. hit to punish it. Markov was working out very well for Logan right now. Catches the, uh, I'm trying to fly down. We say it's working out really well, but the life totals are very close. That was an interesting Vorpal strip. That oh, would have killed there if you confirmed, but he takes it back. I'm just very amazed at the, uh, inadvertent Vorpal strip combo that we just had. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would have uh, connected though because it was a red combo by the end. Yeah, yeah, no, but it did connect as a thing. Which is just <laughs> yeah, yeah. It did, it did Yuzu is so you garbage, know? Logan. You're not doing like bad uh, against her. No, you're not doing bad. No, this is a this is a very weird matchup. Yuzu is a very good character. Well, these are actually both top tier characters as a player. Most most uh, people put these two characters on the same plinth essentially. So yeah. him yeah. shielding full screen, high and low, gets caught. I think after that match, he's starting to play a bit, like, you know, back and not as aggressive as he did in the first round. Yeah. It, which uh, I think is probably what got him that win. Just it's a little bit of a uh, playing not to lose rather than playing to win, feels like. Yeah. Pretty good. That's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, aggressive seems to work for him. That increased 3C going over the 2C earlier was inspired, actually, though. That was super hype. Oh, okay, with the throw Missed. again. Remember, the seven frames. TKJ214A. That might have been an accident. Another fireball. Nice. Yo, and right, here's with the BDP. BDP. Very good. Logan taking the first round. I love how Merkava's arms flop onto the ground when he's charging grid. Oh, yeah, all of the, the concentrated animations are really good in this game. I love Mika's. Is the overhead? He's mashing yeah, really well. Right. Fully goes through. Three season over. Very good round for Logan. Already got the corner. Two speed block. It's starting to lag a bit. But... Yeah, I got a bit of stutter just now, but it looks like that was a temporary thing. Happens a bit with uh, with DD, unfortunately. Wow, catches with J214 oh, into man. IW. This won't kill. This is very close, though. It's one just like solid one solid hit yeah. from Logan, and that's it. And here with the charge. Logan, Logan continues, charges. yeah. 2 1. Very nice. Strong Very play. nice, Logan. Uh, yeah, kind of got a little confused in that second game, but kind of held it together, readapted, played his, uh... Nice job. Act, essentially out-zoned Yuzu toward the yeah. end of it. That was pretty yeah. good. <laughs> I'm... 
Oh yeah, Logan is uh in uh, falling to shambles in chat. Uh, Infiltrator and good Tiger. Point. Very and... good game from both of them. I feel like DD, you know, just dropping some of those combos and l letting Merkava do sort of just Merkava pressure really hurt in the end. We'll be right back. Logan, oh, you can you hop out going without of the me. room? Or I guess I can just. Uh, put next up, we have Infiltrator and Taiga. Logan, you can uh, leave if you want, or you can just kick him. Yeah, so we just need Taiga. Tiger, you in the uh, stream chat? Oh no! Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, uh, keyword is Wazda. Yeah. Who's he gonna play? Uh, I think this is a Wald v Wald. Uh, Pierce Pass. Okay. Go for it whenever you guys are ready. Yes, wait, this is a. This should be a wall. Oh my ditto. god. Same colors? Can you even do that? We won't have anywhere to look. We won't have a single place to look. Oh my god. They just told me that was a hit grab. I was already assuming for the whole time. No, yeah. Uh, DD, the little arm is a. Uh, it's just a hit grab, so. <laughs> if you just block it, you're good. Yeah, you pretty much have to play against a wall regardless, I think. Cosmic. Yep. And we got Nana Say theme. God, this is cursed. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of jumping going on. Thing is, this isn't even a meme match. They're both using their mains. <laughs> In my opinion, I feel like Infiltrator is probably the better wall out of these two. But I think it'll still be a close match. I, mean, I don't know Wall v. Wald matchup, though. I kind of hope he loses because he's the one that picked the music. Nah, that's understandable. <laughs> Ooh, catches the throw. Good combo here. Ends up with the clap. Infantry taking a good bit of damage. Tiger is ahead. In the corner. Tests the gold. This should be dead. Oh, <laughs> this is mind. hell. Drop squirt. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just sort of just saying. I don't know what buttons he's throwing out. Oh man, I missed the beginning of the wall mirror. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Tiger squirt just said right it's hell. Now. And mm -hmm. he doesn't tech the gold through. Yeah, oh, that's true, Blobstein. Twenty-one frame tech window on that. Gold uh, versus silver. Yes, is this combo is heavily prorated, but he can get that mix-up after, oh. which is important. This won't kill, and he puts it himself at full screen. Infiltrator. It's just Ooh. coming back real quick. In one clap, that's all it took. Taiga with the clutch, finally being able to tech that 360B. He went for the overhead, but the infantry comes out with a low. Yeah, it starts up with the 2B. While Another the overhead, two overheads low. in a row. No, actually, the C version of that is not an overhead. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, it, it is like unsafe it, on blind, but it's only minus six, so you can kind of throw it out pretty safely in the wall matchup if you know that they can't um, consistently 360 AU on that. Um, Infiltrator on the on the road for a perfect right now. Yeah. Infiltrator, um, <laughs> good job with that. Yes, that wasn't a double uh, oh, circle. Oh, he dropped. I, I don't Fails think to count all of his bounces in that combo. Yeah. Taiga could still bring this back. This wall We've got uh, have his, like, two uh, generations of wall players here. I see Taiga using a lot of the new clear tech, especially that 4A follow-up after 3 6 a yeah, and yeah, yeah, it's coming over from SD. Yeah, old school SD player. Old school, I say. From a year ago. Doesn't, oh, chooses to do I nothing on his wake up. Uh, use the train during wake up. Oh? Infiltrator is playing extremely carefully despite the fact that Taiga has not, you know, shown any kind of reversal option on his wake, wake yeah. ups thus far. I haven't seen a rock yet. No, there have been rocks. Really? Yeah. Infiltrator was learning some earlier. There's really no point to use rocks in this matchup, I feel, but I don't actually know the wall matchup that well myself. A lot of text coming out, a lot of claps. Catches the assault. I'm oh, the infiltrator. Uh, oh, yeah. Good pickoff off that 1A. I'm never able to do that consistently myself. If it uh, counter hits, uh, you can actually link into 2B. Overhead. Yeah, it hits with the overhead. First infiltrator round. heads uh, CS, so that would have been safe anyway. Yep. First yeah. game goes to Infiltrator. Very, very close match in my opinion. Taiga, 
it's just, I feel like it's gonna be just hard in general for Talia because Infiltrator is using just a lot of things that he knew were good in ST that may not be as good. I don't know, Taiga's got the heart, man. Yeah, Taiga <laughs> does have a lot of heart. <laughs> oh my god, just full screen rock throws at each overall, other? Overall though, Infiltrator's a lot more like consistent. Backdashes the Unfortunately, the back dashes are too late. Should've just jumped, that's a more consistent way to hit that. Yep, you can get a full combo off of this. 3.4k damage, I think, in the corner. Oh, actually less. Yeah, Mid-screen, it's like okay. a good 3.4. Infiltrator doesn't do it. the um, nice early 3C wall to corner combos. But yeah, fails to attack another 360B, unfortunate. Tiger's gotta be ready for these. Oh, no, Ooh, right. he went for yeah. a low. Assaults right over the 2B. Infiltrator going for the hard read with a round start at 360B. Good overhead. Overhead back. I could just Already mash good damage. The overheads. There we go. That's the infiltrator we know. Actually doing reset mix ups. Good block on the assault. Knows not to mash after that 1A. It's plus 2 on block. Taiga also doing like the like the sick as hell uh, dash forward 4B combos instead of the delay 4B combos. Just for that tiny little bit more corner carry on every combo. Waiting for whenever one of them's gonna do the uh, command grab on the uh, on Wake Up. You're not a, yeah, you're, you're not a grappler unless you're 360 on Wake Up. So yeah. gotta see it. I want for sure to the overhead hex. Wow, that was a brave. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dang. See that? Yo, he's Wald's arm he got hurt boxes dead. there. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, you never get to see Wald. I Holy oh. shit. Well, Iwix is sick. It is. I don't think Infiltrator was ready for that. Taiga hasn't really done a reversal wake up at all Yo, yet. Taiga with the text, he gets it now. All right, catches with that JB. Backdash is caught by the soul. Oh, dash B connects, and that's gonna be a meaty combo. I think this is a uh, 3K last time, right? Yep. Yep, 3.3 now with uh, Warpool. With Warpool, yeah. Infiltrator's got it. Uh, he's got Wolf right now. Taiga's yeah. gotta be expecting an overhead on his wake Well, up earlier Taiga just did a 360C, oh. and that's what got him to that combo. And. Yo, Taiga that... just like fucking dodges every. <laughs> like gets the fuck out of dodge whenever he loses. Like I know uh, that it, I know it's a delay, Defy. but. Oh? Uh, he overslept. Fucking defiant. He was playing Melty Blood until way too late last night. <laughs> <laughs> that idiot. That was fun. Most fun I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up next? All right, Salty um, Logan. Uh, we could do Squirt versus. Uh, or I oh, would no. We should do. Um, me Logan then Cons versus Infantry then Squirt yeah. And Turtle. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Logan, you and me are back up. Uh, do you want the uh, Aka or the Chaos? Okay, yes, gotcha. Dropped a lot of input, says Taiga, not particularly happy. It happens. Uh, execution is just part of, uh, you know, getting used to tournaments. Yeah. Nerves. Just I know I, I drop shit all the time when I'm doing tournaments. Yeah. First time my hands were shaking so bad. No, now it's my, it's my stick. stick. Oh. No. That's a shame, but. Yeah. I personally probably would have DQ'd myself if I had a broken stick. Yeah. Alright. Well, I will see you all in a bit. All right, see you on the other side. Uh, good luck, have fun, Logan. Uh, very good to see how much you have improved over time. Look at this weirdo hovering over Akatsuki. <laughs> <laughs> is he actually gonna pick Chaos for him or is he just gonna straight up BM him? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have Logan with uh, Salty's Chaos. Wait, these two played already, didn't they? Wasn't this like the round one game for them? Maybe. No, that can't be. No. Um, yeah, they did play. Oh yeah, I guess Logan just. Yeah, because Salty dropped down the losers. losers. All right, let's see how this goes. I saw that two B. That was clearly a two and four B misinput. 
drops down the worm. Um, Salty really shouldn't be letting uh, Merc do this in neutral. And also, Salty should probably get the dog out. Um, Chaos has a new input as of clear, actually. 2-2-D pulls the dog out without actually doing an attack, which is incredibly useful. There we go. Ooh, okay. Logan yeah, dog's gone. does a great job of dispelling the dog, but dogs back up already. Not how you do that juggle combo. Logan he used an extra ground attack. bounce. Let's see if he remembers that. He does not. Salty. I think Logan probably wants to stay airborne for most of this matchup. Chaos's major glaring weakness is his lack of anti airs in general. Logan relies on that like full screen hit grab a lot to get in. Yeah. He relies on people just not blocking at full screen. Still a hit grab. Salty's hitting something there. At least he's blocking on wake up. Good, good. Yep, that has gaps in it. Unfortunately, you can try to mash out there when you'll get counter hit. Hmm. Is EX grab a command? Uh, 214C is not a command grab. They are all hit grabs. It's just the EX version is insanely fast. Okay, we got the good combos. Oh, drops the J2C. Oh, DD, you tried to jump over the 214s? <laughs> Yep, all right, whiffs the 3C over Chaos there. Oh, that was close. That was almost a grid break just now. Yeah, he keeps dropping his combos. They're both dropping their combos. I've yet to see a single completion. Dash B. He should have done dash C there to get the hard knockdown. All right, well, we got Chaos got Merc in the corner. This is exactly what a Chaos player wants. There we go. Very nice. Beginner friendly, my ass. Let's go. Salty's chaos isn't that good. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not like basic. any of them were blowouts. Yeah, no. Like, as a as a beginner, you will have to learn how to dash block in these kinds of matchups, and you'll have to learn the gaps. Chaos is definitely an underplayed character, which is why this matchup experience is definitely useful to have early on. <laughs> All right, Salty had a significant life deficit. Gets hit by the overhead in the corner. I'm getting DMs from Defiant right now over Steam. And oh, CBO and IW, it's not going to kill? Yeah. He does that a lot. 3C! Increase 3C to let him go through him and then hitting him on the recovery of force function. Wild. Right, so for those of you who want tips on the Chaos matchup, his force function, that little weird like flip roll that he does where he can cross through you, as of clear, is no longer throw-in ball, so you can actually just throw him right out of that now. Oh, uh, in addition, 6C, minus 15 on block. If you ever block it, you might not be that close enough to punish, but it's definitely your chance to run up and get your turn back. Oh, gets hit by the second hit of 236C. Pushes him out with shield. Good options. Um, ooh, wow. The Veil off only catching him because he used 5C there. Okay, yeah, he gets the hard knockdown with 66C and hits with J2C. Kind of unseeable, to be honest, because of Aussie. <laughs> Augustin, a lot of people in here, like myself included and Didi and stuff, have only been playing for like a month. Okay, gets hit by the 3C overhead into combo 3C. Uh, let's the Worms uh, handle his Oki for him. Yep, 2 of 1, 4C, still a hit grab. Logan really, really likes the um, 2 and 4C. Salty mm -hmm. tries to green shield 2, 3, 6C, but unfortunately does it one, one hit too late. Well, gets a counter hit J2C, but fails to capitalize. 
this should lead to about 3.2... <laughs> I was gonna say 3.2k, but I forgot the Salty doesn't remember the, no other combos. Uh, what you can do there, if you're a Chaos player, is you can do 6c and uh, automate the cancel into Force Function. Force Function only comes out on hit, doesn't come out on block, so... It's always worth it to... Oh, will he be... Oh, no that's safe! Damn! Yep, it is only minus 3 on block. All right, 1-1. One, one. Logan making uh, good strides here. I hope the next character they add in clear is just a really big Merc Worm. Yo, I'd play it. Like that boss from T uh, Dark Souls 2. Oh, yeah. Have to shield the last of 16 hits to punish. Yep. I hear it's, um, it's... Once you, like, know the timing, it's, like, actually kind of pretty doable because it's essentially just, like, ticka 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 like, 16th notes, but oh, you do have to okay. kind of lab out the timing. That makes sense. Oh, oh 3C nice. beats out J uh, 2 6 c Oh, uh, he's just a point-blank J... Uh, 6 c Drops the combo, he didn't get the juggle there. Arcana's reach is insane. Four yeah, there we go. Yes, yeah. IW. Yeah, Merc IW is enormous, so you can convert off in, into it from most things. Oh my god, that was a terrifying interaction just now. Yeah, <laughs> it stopped right in front of him. Yeah. No, he's not gonna kill. Yo. Oh my, okay. Chaos 6C looks like a really good tool for basically everything. It's very good at um, that further range, but again, like I said, it's minus 15 on block. So, if you block uh, 6C and Chaos doesn't CS to make it safe, you have to you have to run up and take your turn. Salty is way behind on grid, or he was. He's way behind on health too. He's yeah. uh, Logan's got does a really good job of just wearing him down with these little hits. Salty has a kind of tendency to want to do things in general, which hasn't served him too well in this kind of long-range matchup. Hey, Ryer, thanks for the raid. Wake up 5 BB? Okay. Ooh, you can't match. You gotta wait for the second hit. Oh, this might kill. No, he doesn't no. see you. Oh, gets him with the stagger 2B. Good show, though, Logan. That was really good. Yeah. I feel like uh, Logan tries to react to the lows instead of the other way around. <clears throat> yeah, he gets hit low a lot more than he should. Logan, you're saying that like you didn't do really well. Yeah, Logan, I don't think there's any reason to downplay your performance. You got a game off of uh, Salty, and you did quite well up until that point, too. Yeah. Like, they were close. Was... Yeah, you did. You got a game off him, and even the games you lost, like, weren't blowouts at all. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that first round on that third game was quite close. It was good. Yeah, I, I felt very... There's a big difference in the first thing time we played with your um, wall scene, just that Merkava. God, was fucking <laughs> <laughs> hurt, dude. I nearly got perfected a couple times. I was like, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Yeah, it was good stuff. I definitely don't think downplaying is going to do anything for you, Logan. You should just be a little more confident in yourself and just yeah. strive yeah. towards improvement. Because that's yeah. what fighting games are all about, right? So Where's Constant? Confidence is probably like the biggest thing. Oh, Salty oh, Pass? I, I see Defiant in uh, in chat. Salty Pass? Oh, my bad. So we have we Cosmic, Mika? a Mika, and Merkava versus a Waldstein. You might get a. I feel like, yeah. Th I thought we were gonna be seeing the uh, wall soon or not wall soon. Wait, who is this? Cosmic? And yeah, this is Cosmic. Why is Infiltrator uh, playing his main against? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. I feel like All that's right. the only character I've ever seen Infiltrator play, though. He plays Enkidu too. He subs Enkidu. Yeah. He Maybe played him for like one game last tournament. <laughs> Yo, good jump. Saw that with JC coming, 6C coming. Ooh, Ooh wow. get him, Maybe Cosmic. He does need to play walled against Cosmic. This is nice. Yeah, goddamn. 
I think it was just really bad because I don't think Cosmic knew the Enkidu matchup that well because he kept getting hit by FF. Ooh, what was that? I saw the beginning of uh, uh, 2C there. He got beat out by the immense speed of wow. Murakawa's era 3C. God damn. He's playing it really Who well, keeping this? the distance. And please, Cosmic win. I am begging. I don't want to play Infiltrator again. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're to get so tilted. <laughs> Like listen, right? No matter what, like in this next game, whoever wins, I am, I am going off. Oh, he's trying to do something after two six C cosmic. I That's thought he was in block. Three, it's not plus. Gets hit by the overhead. This is infiltrator's round. Looks like. Yeah. Yeah, my but who knows what the low after is. the reset. He's gotten hit by that twice already. Overhead blocked. Very good. Oh, oh that was a good corner walkout. That was a good walkout. idea. Two C's out of the corner, but yeah. Yo, this guy's net play going? resetting on stream says Defiant. It's a wall player for you, Defiant. It's what he, it's what he does. Chad. <laughs> oh, Mika. Yo, this is actually like an 0 10 matchup for Wald. Because you can reset all pressure into 6 to 3A and you're only minus 2, and Wald has no way to punish it. <laughs> it's not 0 10. It's just really bad. Okay, so it's 1 9. What's your Yeah, well, clearly I'm get? exaggerating. I'm not actually saying it's 0 10. Uh, the thing is, I don't know how Cosmic's Mika is because he hasn't really done that many like hard knockdowns or anything like that. Yeah, Cosmic's Mika seems erratic thus far. Yeah. From what we've seen. Oh, I've seen this combo. Oh. He's got interesting combos. Puts himself back in the corner. Yo, gets grid break throw. Catches the Very LS. Very good. Uh, anti airs. Big grappler versus small grappler. Attacks the gold throw. Shame, but Mika is Gets hit by a low. He's, he's expecting the overhead every time. It seems like. I actually haven't been looking at his inputs. Um, well, no, yeah, I've just been it looks people. like he walked back there, so I guess he maybe did. Was trying to, yeah. Un yeah, so I guess he's trying to react to the low and then, or just he's just reading the overhead, which is coming out wrong. I mean, granted, as long I mean, as you're connected, it's not like DPing or something like that. I think as long as your connection is four frame is less, Walt's scene overhead is perfectly blockable. The over the animation is so massive. Yeah. Maybe they're like six frames. Cosmic tries to JAA with JAA in the air to try to stall his fall, but if the trader's wise to it, catches him on the way down. The overhead doesn't Three six DA, yeah, fails to protect that. Cosmic gonna come back from this? Nice attack. Sure text no, Cosmic, please! No! God damn it! Yeah, when you play Mika, you have to understand that if you autopilot into a 2 and 4, you give up your turn. So... Yeah, it's yeah. just really a combo button or trying to get mix-ups. Part of learning how to play Mika is to just not do that autopilot. It's rough, but you gotta learn it. Yeah. I'm gonna get me a whole cheer score. I think we should actually play Salty <laughs> in Flitrator. Right, I mean, Potato, you get back in here and you can tilt salty all you want. Uh, uh, oh. Fight the wall, says Squirt. <laughs> That's Squirt. all he says. You he just says, fight the wall. Damn, those triangle hands slapped her around. Wild. I thought Cosmic was a vet too, so that's the, the reason for why uh, Infiltrator chose to unskip salty. You're up. I, I, I know that I accidentally hit the wrong button. Uh, uh, infiltrator uh, subs? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your sub versus my main. Easy. No problem, Logan. <laughs> you killed it. You did really well. Yeah, now do better next tournament. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> just nothing else, just no. <laughs> I love it. No mercy. I also uh, love that Infiltrator went to the fucking customization menu and bought Goldstein in the like in the intervening period since his like last two, two matches ago. Uh, Yo, 
Tiger's attack. like, please kill him, Info. Holy shit, there's a lot of rage going towards Salty here. <laughs> Why is there what so I much done? rage against Salty? I haven't done anything to y'all. Salty literally played sub characters. Alright, I'll, I'll be right back, boys. Alright. So they both have red squares. What are you talking about? Blob, Blob and Team says, yo, can we get some wall themed? Oh, it looks like no, he's gonna go for it. He's, no, he's gonna give us the stupid um, what's her name? Not a safe thing. Yo, not a safe thing. Yeah, good. because it's infiltrator. An OG yes. player, man. He knows how to tilt people. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter though, because Salty's just listening to his own music. <laughs> Salty's gonna tilt on his own. Defiant's trying to claim a spot against the winner of the tournament. Sorry, Defiant, you fucking overslept. You don't get to play anyone from this tournament. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, okay, Infiltrator just up backing, trying to make space for himself, but goes right back in with the pressure. Carries the clap, but he can't combo off of that because he's too far away. That's gonna no. cancel, yep. But it's too far away to combo. Assault, yep, late Assault JC, beats out the carry. Uh, Salty is way too reliant on trying to get the fucking precognitive, precognitive uh, parries. Yeah. He's dead. Um, this happened last tournament too. He was so tilted after we played about the fact that he couldn't time the parries correctly when the actual answer is that he shouldn't be going for those parries at all, to be <laughs> honest. It is frame one, yeah. Get him so okay, This is what you should be doing in this matchup as a cop's case, my guess. Oh, no, oh, he drops it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, damn. That was rough, actually. Um, by all accounts, that BDP should have won. It's just that B clap start is so slow. Okay, Salty is plus there. He can restart pressure. He gets hit with the overhead. Guard late high 11 frame. It's okay on that, for it, not, that play. Oops. Let's Infiltrator mash out. Is really expecting a 360C or something there. I think Salty's respecting Infiltrator's options too much. Mm -hmm. Nice, good text. All right, Salty's learning. He's gonna get good at this matchup, whether he wants to or not. I hope he doesn't go with the 214C here. Yeah, okay. That's routinely dropped. Um, from what I've heard from uh, famous EU player Mo Sin, if you try to go for all three hits on a B Tatsu before going for J214C, um, it can drop like pretty inconsistently. You want to only just do two hits into J214C hmm. to make it consistent. <laughs> Yep, C normals, 4B, um, yeah, there's a few normals that uh, delete projectiles for wall. Hello, Burby. Nothing on the reset. Both players respecting each other a little too much, in my opinion. Oh shit, Infiltrator actually completing a combo, just doesn't bother going for the reset, just wants that corner. Oh, Salty yeah. fails oh, to tech that 360B for the first time this set. Infiltrator just backdashing on Salty's wake up, very strange, I've never seen a wall do that before. Yo. Into the overhead, ooh, that's... What a, that's oh, a, the instant rematch from both of them. That's got a sting for Salty, though. I would hate to lose that way. Yep, Raw 360B is only 20 frames, specifically 21 frames. But yeah, pretty tough on net play. Especially if you're used to gold throws. Oh, the um, grid break. Yeah, late input. Grid break 360A, very good. Try to cut Salty trying to attack something for some reason. Salty is, for some reason, still 1 AD teching. He's OSing for some reason in this matchup. The mental game started with the song selection. I guess so. Surprised he stuck with Akatsuki. Unfortunately, Blomantine, Akatsuki is the only character that Salty knows how to play at, like, a, the level that could possibly hope to compete against Infiltrator's Wall. He says he has 600 hours in this game, and all 600 are on Akatsuki. <laughs> See, on a safe theme burns the ears. I agree. I'm not even mad at seeing this right now. 
This will put him at significant life lead, but let's see. He jumps away into air fireball. Yeah, super respectful. Wow, anti air beat toxic. That's an interesting option. I was expecting a uh, far Is he gonna drop speed. it or is he gonna actually complete the combo? Yeah, see, there he goes. He uh, actually did uh, two hits of beat Tatsu into J214C to make sure it was consistent this time. Oh, that makes sense. I have 600 hours as well, 500 on high, the rest on Lin and Elkrum. Yeah, I wish I had 500 hours on my main. Oh no, no, not again, like though. this, Salty, not like this. Keep the kill here. Dead. Oh. No, drop it. Yo, nice. 6C, that was a hell of a Hail Mary from Salty. He was really desperate there. I tried to hit a button. Okay, 100 hours of EDP, first one from Salty this set, I believe. I feel like the baby here, I've got like 50 hours or something. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I think after my set with uh, DD today, I just crossed 950 hours. But yeah, because you guys played for like 30. <laughs> <laughs> Got infantry just wait, waiting. Nice. nice. Good TRM. I'm surprised. I don't actually know if you can. Can you confirm off that fireball if it lands a counter hit like that? Oh, that's oh it. no. Damn. Damn, that last game was good though. You, you've clearly adapted. I just think. Uh, I see more games against Wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, especially since Infiltrator plays like a really old school reset like Wald, so it's different. Okay, now we're we go dying to, the... to a trade, That's says Wald. Winner's <laughs> finals. <laughs> Squirt and Turtle. That was a good set. I like watching it. I think uh, it's a super volatile matchup, is what it looks like. A lot of rock, paper, scissors on both sides. Well, thing is, that's the only wad I played since the last time I've played him. <laughs> yeah, maybe well, you should just ask him for like a long set or something. Yeah, I probably will later. I don't know. Is it going well, to be squirt and, squirt and turtle right, right now for uh, winners. Turtle could easily also stay in grams. We'll see. Um... Salty, drop down. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't mean anything negative by this, but I. I think Turtle relies a little too much on the character unfamiliarity with Enkidu. Yeah. Um, Burby, we're in finals. Lots of people really don't like, uh, lots of people don't don't know that the first hit of Enkidu force function is alone. So he's been catching tons of people with the charge 5C FF mix up. Yeah. I'm not sure how well that's going to really <laughs> So there's work. a chance. Squirt is playing Hyde. He's serious here, I think. Yeah, no, Squirt I, is. I'm gonna give it to Hyde because I think Hyde wins this matchup also in general. This is a really yeah. good matchup for Hyde. Yeah. These two... I just need uh, oh, no, more time awesome. against though. Yeah. Back in ST, Enkidu was essentially like considered just Hyde but worse. So, I mean, it's better now, but Hyde still has more options than Enkidu on a lot of yeah. things. Wake up yeah, ADP! Turtle seems to be know. under like the misapprehension that ADP is good on wake up. No, it has no invulnerability whatsoever. Is yeah. force function the better option? He, well, here's the worst part. Right? Let's say it did like connect or um, like like he blocked it. He wouldn't have been able to make it safe, so he lost out because he didn't have any meter there. Really, Square so taking off with a perfect the first round. Shit. Yeah. Oh, it just catches him with the very edge of the hitbox of charge 3C. Yeah, very strange. Alright, Oh shit, no B. cancel 6B. Okay. Takes him out of the um, corner though, that's a bit questionable. Yeah, back so dash is, is caught by 2A. That's one issue with the uh, worst combos. Yeah. If you back tech on the Yanku combos, then you can't. Oh, is that an overhead? Block the overhead, but Squirt fails to confirm off of it. That is minus 4 at that range. Squirt is right to challenge. Ooh. Rising uh, JB is Oh, is he gonna take the round? Me. Yeah. Oh, this is head. If he doesn't drop it, at least. Nah, he just. Yeah, this does a lot of minimum damage. Damn. Terrell is just looking like he's uh, he's freaking out a bit. I don't think he was really ready for Square to be this good. I don't know his experience with Hyde either. Charge? Yeah, Squirt getting Squirt hit by getting the force, force, force function low. Yeah, you have How to immediately go block low. Good, it's not good. 
Yeah. Force function is a 10 frame startup button. Oh, really? You okay. A lot of, you have a lot of time to switch back to low. Yeah. Or is it better than ADC? The problem is, most people who play Enki do on rank, if they do the overhead, they make it safe with a stagger to 5cc, which is why people usually just stay blocking high. No one actually does that charge 5c force function overhead. Blocks or XO. overhead low. No overhead yet from Squirt. That's what a favorable that? trade for high. Dash P? Uh, I think it was da uh, 2c, but I can't quite tell. I know it was 2b, it's Turtle we're talking about. Yeah. It just happens so fast, it just seemed like all of a sudden just fucking teleport and then it's like double counter. And you do FF is literally just rising tackle, isn't it? Yep, but without invincibility. She's gonna block right in front of that 180. Yeah, let's see how much damage this is. Up two, three A's, 2.1. Not sure if it was Square throws him back into the corner. Block low. Soul, empty assault to throw. Oh, but Squirt fails the the throw combo. Squirt's fucking thirsty for blood right now, dude. He does know this is a beginner tournament, right? Squirt is one of those players who, like, every time he drops a combo, he gets angrier and wants to do more combos. <laughs> you know, that, I, I can completely understand that, honestly. I don't All actually right, know if that's that, the yeah, case, but that's what it seemed like just now. Oh, nice. What can you do about the pogo stick move that Hyde does? Uh, Black uh, Lotus DP. is pretty tough to work with. Um, it's got a gap, a natural nice. gap between the sword hit of the pogo and the fireball. He keeps trying to out of the corner of that. Oh, this is going to do a ton of damage. Yeah, it doesn't mean me to confirm off of it. That's minus four, yep. Yeah, Turtle's relying oh. on... Oh, nothing. nearly kills with the EX parry. Wasn't Ooh, another nice. EX parry? Squirt, what is Turtle thinking? Er, Turtle has spent all of his meter to win like a, what would have been essentially like a chip kill kind of round. Yeah. We'll see how that works out for him. Both car both players have little to no meter, but yeah. Squirt's got the advantage. Well, the thing is, Hyde goes a lot farther with the just meter in general. So losing out in meter totally, I don't know. He's also not using 4C to cancel any of those... Um, in the projectiles. Oh no, it's fucked up in this matchup. If Hyde chooses to detonate the fireball, 4C loses. Oh, I see. Because you'll... 4C will cancel the projectile itself, but then the detonate is a second hitbox that hits him through the 4C. Hyde's been doing consistently, oh. like, 35 plus, for the most part. 2,500 is huge damage. I don't actually remember what the... Yeah, 2.5k isn't that much. Okay, let's see if Turtle can bring this back. Uh, good shields what? from oh. Square. 1 AD or just raw shield. Yeah, nice delay throw to catch the 1 AD uh, OS. It's the first to three, though, isn't it? Yeah, first to three. Yes. All right. Turtle's oh, got should... a reverse 3 0. We should change the room settings after this yeah. set. All right, you guys have one more game uh, at yeah. least. Yeah, one more game at least. What is 1 AD? You, it's when you um, delay a tech while crouch blocking. You're doing it, like, kind of instinctively during your game's infiltrator. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially, if they... Yeah, it's just a throw S. You know, if they meet you, you block, and then if they throw you, then you're within the 14-frame tech window. Um, it, so Uni is an interesting game where the OSs are entirely intentional, and there is an RPS game entirely based on the OSs. One of my favorite parts of this game, actually. I love the OS RPS. Alright, one for the Rekka. Very interesting wake-up option. Oh no, Rekka is a really good wake-up option because it's airborne on frame one, so it beats the throw. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Oh, gets Another hit by the bounce. meaty overhead. Guard frame late, one frame. Tragic. Nope, got a Another guard late frame. low, seven frame. <laughs> I love Ooh. this mod. Looks like Turtle's just starting you to do that? something, right? You nice. see how scary. It may not matter yeah. as much right now, but Squirt won the grid cycle at the last second there because Turtle keeps using FF in his pressure streams. Whenever you use FF as Enkidu, it costs an entire block of grid and whatever partial grid that you had dead. saved up. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to kill. Good amount of damage, oh, good a... knockdown. Ooh. Oh, oh my god, Squirt. That was so dangerous. That, that one AD so... in the throw. <laughs> oh my god. If Turtle was just like just a bit better, he and he threw that, god. Infiltrators. Now that was a ton of damage. 1.4k. Yeah, that was a good amount. 
unfortunately in clear they um increase the damage scaling on combos that use multiple EX moves at a time. So if you start with an EX move, if you end with an EX move, you do far, far less damage than you would have an ST. Nice. Okay, Turtle does the right option and does an FF uh, anti air there, but only gets 2.3 damage off of it. You can get, like, literally 3.1k. <laughs> Another FF. Turtle's okay, strategy good. is death by 1,000 cuts. Turtle yeah, understands that you can only cancel the whipped FF with uh, the EX... Um, dive kick, but fails to capitalize on the fact that it's plus on block. 4k in the corner, EX parry again. Yep, turtle bets it all on EX parry. Squirt 3 owing. Yeah, you can't do something like that there because you have to, as the aggressor, you have to expect that they're going to try to do something. That's, yeah. you have so much to lose, so. Yeah, he had so much health in just that one exchange that it, it just, I don't think it was really worth it just to go for the parry. Mm. Is 2 on Force Hide's optimal damage ender with Mirror? My guess is that it's a, a better corner carry ender. Yeah. We if I had to assume uh, turtle optimal damage trainer. ender, probably EXDP. Yo, I fell asleep watching. I'm a go sleep, says DD. All right. D, what time is it for you? It's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. He was up like 7 p.m. Yeah, sure. Comes to you. Um, okay, so now it is. It's Turtle and Infiltrator. Turtle Infiltrator. All right. Turtle, you you shouldn't have left, turns out. So in this matchup, I think it's going to be just matchup knowledge by the end of it. They're both pretty good players, but I think Infiltrator has a better chance here because, um, just, I, I, no offense to Turtle, he just needs to rely a lot on, like, just gimmicks. Infiltrator, uh, Infiltrator is a very solid player. He's got good fundamentals um, yeah. for a walled player. Where is Turtle? And, <laughs> for a walled uh, player. And yeah, Turtle strikes me as a character who kind of likes to dice roll. So we're going to get a lot of RPS versus RPS, but Infiltrator knows how to play it cool when he needs to. So I'm. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I mean, I'd love to see the Enkidu win, of course, but as an Enkidu player myself, I've played against Infiltrator a decent amount, and he creams me every single time, so we'll see. We will see. It's tough to deal with um, Wald's frame data and his buttons as an Enkidu player. Uh, Squirt says, also, I know the Enki matchup a bit. Oh, really? Who do you play against, Squirt? Is it Frosty? Oh, look at me, I know Round pro players. Dash. Frosty's not a pro player. I know. <laughs> Let's but go, it's just, it's just that there aren't that many NQ players, so I'm curious. Right, Ooh, another, nice. I see. Here's Overheads. the thing. I'm not sure if I entirely enjoy just, like, using 5C to take nope. them out of the corner. Yeah, it's not a good idea, good especially since as NQ, every, you want, every, like, the corner is everything when you play yeah. NQ. And there it goes again, take them yeah. out of the corner. Only the See, the problem here is that, um, honestly, despite my playstyle, I think overheads are fine as long as you do them sparingly. From my yeah. perspective, it seems like Turtle is autopiloting into overheads. Yeah, it looks like that's just like his default option. If he doesn't know how to open someone up, nice. it's just oh, throw an overhead. Oh, drops nice. the combo. Turtle coming out DP. Oh, God. Uh, Frosty and Mo also trip and defy a square. I don't think we've played that much, to be honest, have we? This delays his infiltrator. <laughs> I lost the frame. I got four frames, says Squirt with a uh, turtle. I assume. Not too bad. I had five. I don't remember where the fuck infiltrator lives. I think he's East Coast. Canada. Oh, he's East Coast Canada? Oh, yeah, I was just saying oh. something. Oh, I see. Okay. I played Turtle once, I believe, and it was seven frame. Huh. I mean, when go... I played against him, yeah, I don't remember it being that great. Maybe my dude's playing on power line or something. Oh, yeah, you can combo off that. Oh, he should have gone for JA uh, 2 and 4 and GP 6 c Again, I think um, one thing that I have to say about Infiltrator that's kind of interesting is that he floats meter a lot. Loves to save meter for his uh, 2 3 6 c confirms. <laughs> I have good connection to Trip though, that is true. Tiger and I have about two frames. 
Using the projectile invincibility of 3C, not that it mattered because the projectile just arced over him in the first place. Good, good, good. Blocks the overhead into low mix up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is good infiltrator. Train this out of him. This is terrible play. Oh, or not no. play, but it's terrible strategy. You really shouldn't be relying on gimmicks like this. Nice. Uh, so I was by after best time to talk. Sure. Catches the charge to C wind up animation with a JC and wins the round off of that combo. Whoever wins this gets a rematch with Scortoria no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yep, so as Defiant says, him using FF in pressure strings is making him use grid cycle, lose grid cycle every single time. And giving walled grid cycle is tantamount to saying, like, you know, you want to lose. Giving this... This character is so much better with grid than he is without. Because mm, he can make so many of his normal saves, right? Let me look at what is his. Cool. Well, newly as of clear, J2C oh, just, can combo off a counter hit. Uh, Sorry, what were you saying? I was just looking at uh, what his uh, thing was for for opponent. It was just um, another oh, yeah. EX pair on Wake Up Turtle. Wall's Warpul Strait is actually quite strong. It makes it so he can combo full screen off of his rock throws on Wow. Oh. That's one. They're kind of opposites in a lot of way. Like, Turtle kind of burns his meter with a bunch of the EX berries. The nope. just 2B is not it. fast enough to punish 2 through 6A. It has to be a 6 frame button or faster. Nice tech. Ooh. Ooh, but catches him with the 2B. Alright, so just one more combo for him, Alright, Nice. Not DPA, Catches DPA, him DPA, counter hit but... with a 360B. But yeah, it looked like it was a parry that uh, yeah, it was lost in that parry. round. What is the parry startup time? Like how uh, many frames? A parry has a four frame startup, sorry. On CS. Um, one, frame. one frame. One frame when you're um, recovering from CS, quote unquote. That okay. is when your CS meter is draining to give you meter. It is one frame. B parry is seven frame startup and is an altogether terrible move. You shouldn't be using it. And two on four, and C parry is one frame startup. Okay. Infiltrator has mastered the chat OS where he can effectively type in between rounds. Yeah, Infiltrator is uh, pretty impressive with that. I think uh, you're just on mobile. Turtle doesn't, on, uh, on Turtle doesn't fall for the um, charge JC low mix up. Ooh, nice. Interesting the carry. Alright. There he goes again, autopiloting into the uh, overhead. He has to realize that even if that overhead had hit, he would have put himself at disadvantage because he would essentially remove his opponent from the corner. There he goes again doing it. He's not comboing after it anymore. Yeah, and the worst part, yeah, so the thing is that he just doesn't know the combo to actually even get knocked down off of his uh, DP off overhead. Did ADP to ADP? No, that was BDP actually. No, um, not, not DP. Not or that, that was, was B parry. Um, yeah, A parry. I, I don't know why I'm saying DP. Yep, there it is again. He's not mixing it up at all either. Sit by the overhead, that's gonna dead. really hurt. That's like 3.4k damage meter, so you can spend. Oh, chose to go for the positioning over damage. Probably better. Nice. Went for charge 2C? Yep, Turtle likes that option. Alright. Overhead, there was a big push in the map. 360B, Doesn't take the goal fails to attack. That's tough. Um, when you see that uh, charge JC animation, you're expecting the overhead or the low. Well, it's also because the skin's gold, so it just sort of meshes in. <laughs> that's why people gold, gold, uh, go gold. Oh, really? I know that's why people go the fucking piss colored carmine. Yep. Because the pinwheels cover up the gold throws, yeah. And you just see, like, you're like, that's too many pixels than last time. Good neutral jump from Turtle. Okay, uh, with, yeah, 236, he gets corner carry to the other side of the screen. Right. With the throw, with the takes throw, him out of the corner again. That throw with is, uh, the picture-perfect walled matchup problem. Wald's collision box is so much smaller than his hurt box, so you yeah. can tick throw walled, um, but, but still with the throw. Him. You have to be inside walled to tick throw him. Yeah. Alright, the trader takes, is that the third game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah alright. Yeah. yeah, he takes that 3-0 then.
And now we have the run back of Squirt and uh, Infiltrator. In, in the end here, I think this is going to be a really close game. Uh, Squirt did give uh, Infiltrator a few tips on the high matchup. I still think it's in Squirt's favor overall. <laughs> uh, what do y'all think? Yeah, I think... I don't know. It's going to be really hard to work in that advice right now. So yeah. my yeah, guess... Yeah, they don't really have that much time to really implement it. Yeah, and in the mm -hmm. end, this is still a Hyde favorite matchup because Hyde can always just run up 3C, which is such a powerful option in this matchup. He's got run up 3C. He can do fucking shenanigans like wake up Rekka to beat any kind of grab pressure. It's strong. I'm sure he's going to have to reset the bracket. So he's going to have to... It's six have to wins. Win a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an uphill battle. Also, Blobventine says, I feel like I saw a lot of hide this tournament, but I think it was just because Squirt literally never lost. All right, yeah. punish that. 2B shouldn't have been the punish there. The optimal would have been 5B, I think. Yeah. But I don't think he was really expecting just seeing ADP coming out. Yeah, you unfortunately, start... you have to be ready for it. You have to seclude a part of your mind and be like, when, you know, when a punish comes up, I got to do this. Yeah. I'll catch him with a 4B. Okay. Jay. Yeah, Good blocks coming from wall. Infiltrator. Oh wow, really well timed Shield? CB there. That was a part of the advice that he gave. Yeah, uh, holy shit. Infiltrator is amazing at this game, turns out. <laughs> Infiltrator is well, the new the number one wall. Uh, Forced to block that. Yeah, there you go, 3C. That's the matchup. <laughs> oh, and we just is the dash C. There's the laser. Maybe he thought it was going to... Someone reached the projectile with JC. Uh, wow. Squirt. Pretty handily taking the first round, but he has got full bar now. Good tech. From what I can yeah. tell so far, Infiltrator is looking pretty nice on taking the grid cycle. Oh, one throw, that's all it took there. Mix oh, up. Nice. Yep, dash oh. C base VO. That's one of its uses. Misses the confirm, but CBO and he's dead. Respect yeah. hide faded. Didn't even need to, actually. Full meter, full resource, perfect round. Yeah, hide damage more than makes up for walled yeah. HP, and yeah. hide controls and a lot of this. Itself. Yeah, hide controls a lot of the space that walled wants to occupy. Good there, yeah. Squirt. Good assault over the 2B. This should get him into the corner, essentially, yeah. It's like he was trying to nice. make oh. Yeah, breaks the 1A DOS. BDP, yep, good use of CS. Dick throw? Nice tag. Very good tag. A lot of shields coming out from Squirt. Yeah. Run up 3C, really there it is again. Good shield, blocks a laser. Dash cool. in a shell, dash C. Very interesting. Big charge. Oh, that was Ill a misinputed 360A. Oh, dang. Alright. He really <laughs> has mastered the chat OS. Yeah, he has. Wait, did he already put him a text? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's in chat. God damn. My nice. Three. God damn. Caught him trying to do a 180 OS. Good DP. Nice. Or sorry, good DP punish. Okay. Wald's corner combo to do not that much more damage than his mid screen combos for some reason. But still him? damage nonetheless. He's at least got the hard knockdowns. That really matters in this. He's able to tech the throw and shield. Three CS after the overhead. Squirt is very good at just teching. He's a stand target though, so you don't really see him doing OS that often. Nice block. Yeah. Uh, Squirt stand, stand techs, does he? Uh, I could have sworn he does, because he has stand tech in his name. Oh uh, yeah. Huh. But he got grid broken for 1A DOS earlier. Oh, that was just one dude. 
I mean, there's no reason to do an anti-air OS if your opponent isn't using things like run-up assault, so... He does. Okay, so I trust Defiant. Ooh, nice. Look at this shit. Or it doesn't damage. really throw out the Mitch, uh, not the Mitch, but the uh, overhead much. Alright, good hit, doesn't confirm off of it. Nice. 360. Into 368. This is what he wanted to do like two rounds ago. Yep. Good nice. pressure coming out of him. This should kill. Yep, should. Nice. Very good round from both players. Uh, it's 1 1. Very interesting confirm from a uh, squirt. Hits him with the falling JA. Surprising move from that range. Ooh, no deep deep. No, his yeah, his BBP input didn't come out. Catches him with the overhead. Good damage here. Blobantine says, man, now that I think about it, Insulator is a weird ass name for a sword. That's definitely true. Yeah, that's gonna kill. It's yes. Very good around from Infiltrator. I think he might have adapted Squirt, but now the real question is Squirt gonna be able to respond back. It's really hard to say if a wall player is adapted or not, because if a wall player has a good round, it's pretty much usually a perfect. You make all the right reads, it's how you play grapplers, right? So. Oh? Okay. Nice. Now that you think about it, Insulator is a weird ass name for a sword. Good stagger pressure coming out from Squirt. They should have stuck with the theme and called Seth's daggers the conductors. That would actually be really funny. And like one of the other weapons is called like Inductor or something. Laser. I think Squirt should try and throw something out just to get a straight hit now. Yeah, I'm curious as to whether or not how, how good high players think that a is lot in this matchup. Laps, and that's another win for Infiltrator 2 1. Yeah, that's tough pressure to deal with. All of those claps are more or less plus. I'm sure we might bring this back, but Squirt just yeah, got a win too much game. Defy says, we got a set, boys. Yep, Another 3C. 3C. Sick. God. That's such a good anti-air. Uh, Another 360 that whiffs. This looks like a Hugo mash. No, you're right, man. 2A stagger. Mashes again, able to hit. Squirt not ready. What is going on all of a sudden? What happened? Oh man. Oh, hits him with the uh, delay. Combo combo. Oh, still going on. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, just right. looking for the one hit away. Knockdown. Lows missed up. Back That's throw that should kill. What? He dropped the combo. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could have killed with the right combo there, but I'm not sure if he dropped or if that was just the combo that he did. Oh, well, I'm going to put back. Oop, nice grab. Or nice tech. He needs a better throw combo, so to buy. Okay, so it is just a matter of throw combo. No cancel 6B. I actually don't know what the frame data of that is on block because I so rarely see it no canceled. Ooh, goes for the Rago ATP? I'm surprised. I was expecting him to cancel into CDP afterwards. Ooh, gets caught Damn. in the overhead. All right, two dominant rounds for each of these uh, for each of these guys. Yeah. I have to wonder how good Laser is in this matchup when um, Wald isn't really the type to do things from a distance like that. Especially since if he were assaulting, he would just be going over the, assault, uh, the laser. I wonder if it's worth ending the 4B combos at this point. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously you get more damage and corner carry by ending the combos. This set is pure art, says Logan. Nice, gets the veil off. And the overhead. Is he gonna combo to IW? This will do so much Do damage it. if he does. 
No. Nice. Baits the VO. This won't kill because he doesn't have meter. But he's going to take him to the corner. Oh, man. Infiltrator really betting on these 360Bs that are, by all accounts, just three I'm sure meter for a bit, but... God, Squirt is... Squirt oh. is has to be freaking out. What? Oh my god! Oh, we got a reset! Clutch. If we'll try to reset to the bracket! Oh my god, wow. Shit. I, I wasn't... Now can, they are both in losers. There's more, says Squirt. <laughs> oh, hold on, get the... Oh. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Infiltrator carefully picking non a safe theme. Okay, well, now we have uh, an all new best of five set to go for. Let's see which of these two takes it. Infiltrator's been on the rise in terms of uh, adaptation, it seems like. Mm -hmm. No, stop the non a safe theme, says so Faded. <laughs> oh my god, it wasn't on last set. Wow, good throw attack. Oh, and catches a counter hit with a 360A. Hello? He uh, shielded that uh, Assault JC and punished the increased landing recovery with 2A there. That was very nice. Or 5A. Just three 5As in a row. Just trying to catch him. Yeah. Alright, you know, fair enough. Alright, should be a good combo from Squirt. Ooh, drops Square's been dropping a lot of these recently. Yo, I think just nerves hard, getting man. to him. No, I think combos are actually thing. just super hard. Nope. Squirt, that button is seven frame and wall is minus six on two through six A. It doesn't punish. Counter FF does confirm. Good shields okay. coming out from infiltrator. Restart but... that pressure. Ooh, fails to confirm off that stagger two A pressure oh. and then gets the grid break throw. Throw with his plus. <laughs> <laughs> Another 3C. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Mix up? Oh, no, he's just going for the knockdown. Goes for the corner. Nice. Good read. Yeah. How is Score going to react again? Is that another DP? Yeah. DP? Wow. Another DP corner. Score has to be, like, just out of his mind right now, right? Oh, a third, third one. Third the charm. A third one. Yo, third tries to charm, but Infiltrator just takes the round. I think he. Infiltrator Squirt was just kinda... way too high for him to for it to really do much. I think Squirt maybe Another either gave up or decided point. to take that round as a conditioning round. He's trying to tell Infiltrator that he's willing to wake up DP three times in a row. Maybe. I'm crazy, yo, my dude. Ooh, he right. immediately after that. Blocks the fucking monkey see monkey do VO, but doesn't capitalize. Looks like that was another 360 from Infiltrator. Infiltrator's got a good bit of meter left, and he should win this grid cycle no matter what. Let's get grid broken. They, oh my God. Just might. No, no might LB no, off of... Yeah, no reversal at all. He might die? No, no he, he doesn't. Oh, he, he won't get he no meter. meter but... Good throw from Squirt, finishing off the first round of uh, Grands. All right, it's zero one squirt with both players and losers bracket essentially. Not a safe theme is the song you hear when you enter hell. Military, could you please change the song? Defy says he really needs to start using his meter more. You mean uh, squirt does or infiltrator does? Infiltrator sits on his meter a lot. Yeah. I think Especially. I mean squirt. Squirt doesn't really use meter much, and I, I've noticed that previously. No, nah, Defy is in full in chat. Oh, I'm saying, because like, Wald has an all new use for his meter now. 2 and 4 C man, plus 9 on block. It's an insane button. Air on block. Thing is, does he know about it though? I told him about it. Oh, like, did? two oh, weeks well. ago. So. And he's obviously able to put stuff quickly into use. Yeah. Good combo coming from Squirt. 4.4 and gets confirmed. Oh, that's the second uh, charge FF that we've seen him from him all day. So. Yep. Very overhead, good, uh, Squirt thinking he's probably gonna... Another 3C. 
I think he's thinking like he's gonna sold a lot more than he is. I'm sure he's on point with his shields right now. God, that Definitely. fucking grid at the bottom. Holy shit. Yeah, he's shielding very aggressively for someone who has 12 grid blocks. Yeah. Hits him with the Spins overhead all. reset. This is gonna kill if he does this right. No, he should have done. Okay. Probably just one corner. Hike I'm still reasonably first. sure it would have killed if he had just done 214A and uh, the J214A and 236C. But. Oh well. Squirt can easily pull us back. He's about to take the. He's about to take the oh, title, but then one good VO. Oh, that 3C. But he misses the Doesn't confirm. confirm. Oh, oh that my god. god. Oh, it looks like he was No, yeah. infiltrator. He tried oh, he went the for the memes. <sighs> oh. Okay. Seeing a character change? Char character change or color change? I don't know how to use meter with walls, this infiltrator. Maybe he fucking. Oh, he actually changed it to the Biafia theme. Now he's oh, serious. Thank <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> No more fucking around. Okay, okay. Get plus frames. Defiance right. I told you, 214C is plus 9 on block. It's insanely good. Stop auto confirming 236B with 236C. 214C lets you uh, continue oh. pressure free. Text the gold throw. Nice defense. Very good defense. Blocking all the overheads. Doesn't take the grid cycle though. Two dark lists in a row. Let's see. Amateur's got meter and CS just raw jump. Was that another overhead? Or I actually have no idea. I think it was. Yeah. But... There we go with uh, another 236. Alright, goes for the overhead and make Like plus. I said, 236C is not plus. It's minus 6. Or making it safe, I bet. Yeah, it's not safe though because he steps forward so far that Squirt can just punish with 2A every time if he wanted to. Good. Oh. Yeah, minus 6. Hide 2A is uh, 5 frames. Oh, I didn't know that. That was a 6 frame normal. Oh, oh my nice. god, point blank. Rock. Rock. Bro. And then that a 236B with hello. no resources to make it safe. Infiltrator just going for lots of bets right there. Maybe he's realizing that like just playing pure fundamentals won't won't let him win this game. So you have to yeah. gamble a bit. If you, if you gotta play, if you're gonna play grappler, you gotta play like a psycho. That that was a bit tense there with the delay. All right, gets the counter hit. Combo. Yeah. Can't do that. Ah, uh, too many wall bounces. Goes right through the fireball. That was weird. Blocks the overhead, protects yeah. the throw. Nice. That grid break, holy shit. Yeah. Very good. Grid break JC into. Wow. <laughs> holy shit. Squirt just wasn't blocking there. Maybe he was getting I ready to a button. I see a 6D input there. He looks like he tried to assault. Bad timing. Oh, okay. Finally, the laser catches him, but the input gets crossed up somehow. That was really weird. I don't know how that got crossed up. Maybe for just like a split second. Wald's uh, collision bar right. center crossed gets up the over. Yes, yeah, so at that range, it's hard to punish because Hyde has an unusually stubby 2A. Nice jump. Very nice jump. And we'll trade Ooh, try doing 360. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Who's good? Squirt's got he the meter. He won't kill with this because he, uh... Squirt's gonna want to use his... Good! Another overhead! Yeah, run up yeah, PC! The Squirt reset wow, bracket squ again? No, no, that's not no, how it no, works. No, They're both takes losers it. is how it works. Alright, oh. Squirt uh, takes it! Alright. Congratulations, really good Squirt. Damn, that was a good grand finals. I started panicking, says Infiltrator. <laughs> <laughs>
Fucking no, salty, the says Defy. <laughs> That'd be really funny great. if every time doing Squirt, good. if every time the other person won it reset bracket again. <laughs> well, I just kept remembering like fucking uh like it's like triple reset bracket and I, and I was so confused of how that would happen. No, it doesn't yeah. happen. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a really sick last set. That was a lot of fun to watch. A lot yeah, of it was really good. Very close. Loki wanted infiltrated away after the Byakuya theme says. Oh, Byakuya is like you know the best theme. Mute is the best. No, uh, mute is not the you best. You don't have an opinion. Mute's the best. Yeah, great games, everyone. That was excellent entertainment. Score, do you have anything to say as uh, the um, new champion of uh, the beginners tournament? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, as, as the beginner new tournament. As as the new beginner champion, Swartoria, versus the last beginner champion, Infiltrator. <laughs> oh no. Beginner. <laughs> I don't know, I think overall people have gotten a lot better though. Oh yeah, very. Yeah. I actually, did Dreams drop out like really early on? I actually didn't see him at all. I think he did. Um, dreams. Who do you lose to? Uh, so Dreams first played. Oh, uh, well, he, he lost in he got uh, dropped. Loser's second, looks like. Yeah, by Cosmic. Yeah, he lost to Cosmic he... and then went to. Taiga. Yeah. Dang. Ah, uh, shame. Well, see but yeah, that was fun. Again. It was a lot of fun. And we're going to do it again next week. Let me yell at Salty. Nah, Defiant, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I actually did. I was going to do like uh, a good bit ago, but this lasted a bit longer than I thought, but it was very fun. But, um, yeah, let me send you guys to somebody. Everyone that's watching. Who should I send them to? Uh, send them to Garm. Anyway, uh, very fun. Hope to see you all next week. Um, Trip, are you gonna be uh, participating next week, or are you just commentating? Um, we'll see how the turnout is. Yeah. Um, the problem Define, with you're, me you're participating is that the problem with me participating is that my subs are a little no, too no. strong for beginners. <laughs> Play and I don't. Um... And I don't nice want to like pick up the other characters it. that I don't play are like not characters I want to ever play. So okay. it's like, yeah, Squirt. I'm gonna send everyone to Garm. Yeah, see. <laughs> sure, it doesn't matter. I mean, like the the newest character I picked up as a sub is Mika, and it's like not that great. So it's like that Mika's okay, I guess. I could try with Mika. Do I have the leave button? Stop to... being a coward, says <laughs> Faded. Please. I'm a raid. Yeah, it was good. It was fun watching you, too. I didn't realize how OD Hyde was. <laughs> see you guys next week. Yep, see you see guys you next, next week. week. Does Squirt not participate in tournaments usually? Uh, no, he does. He okay, I was people. just surprised that he was like that excited about it. Oh, I'm watching the fucking Garm stream now. They're killing each other with Dark Lotus. Hide mirrors, man. Just how it goes. <laughs>